guys, I look familiar to you, don't I? You must have seen me in the Oscars Awards night. You think I'm kidding? Believe me, I was standing alongside of Emma Stone, and she was smiling at me. <sighs> well, since I only seem to be in this picture exclusively, I must be very small. Very, very small. But I'd like to grab your attention today to a really crucial molecule, and that's me. Let me talk a bit about myself. My name is Catacol. That's my nickname. In case you want my full legal boring name, it's benzene 12 A lot of you suspect that I might stink because of where I come from, the benzene family. But you actually love me. I know it. If you were to look really closely at that Emma Stone picture, perhaps with a magnifying glass, you'll notice that my looks are pretty attractive. Thanks to my crystalline solid flakes that appear everywhere, but apparently are so small that you can't appreciate it. I'm originally white, but my color darkens upon the exposure to air. I don't weigh that much, because I try to be as light as I can. I believe my ideal weight is 110.1 grams per mole. My melting point is 105 degrees Celsius, and my boiling point is 200 and 45.5 degrees Celsius. If you were to meet me in person, you wouldn't need to fear me, for I'm non-flammable, so I won't explode if you happen to touch me. I lie. I'm combustible, but I won't mean to harm you. My nature just doesn't seem to get along with human skin. I'm very soluble in water, alcohol, carbon tetrachloride, hot benzene, chloroform, and ether. I have a lot of shapes and forms. For example, there's the molecular formula, line structural formula, condensed structural formula, and structural formula. I have a secret to tell you. I have two other twins who look just like me, but their orientation is different than mine. In case you want to know their names, they're resorcinol and hydroquinone. I don't like to talk about them that much because then you might think that I'm not the best molecule after all. We are called the isomeric triplets. Since we're isomers, we have different properties but the same molecular formula. Resorcinol, referred to as benzene-1,3-diol, has a boiling point of 280 degrees Celsius and a melting point of 110 degrees Celsius. It's a flavoring ingredient, and when it's exposed to light, it becomes pink and has a faint odor. Hydroquinone, on the other hand, is referred to as benzene-1,4-diol, has a boiling point of 287 degrees Celsius and a melting point of 172 degrees Celsius. This is how I'm synthesized. First, hydrolyze acetyl I'm not going to cut this. In brief, I'm brought to life when phenyl is oxidized with hydrogen peroxide over a transition metal catalyst. This reaction produces a mixture of hydroquinone and catechol, which are then separated. It's a classic example of a traditional chemical process. I'm not just made from other molecules, I can also be found in other fruits and vegetables, so I'm natural. Ever wondered why apples and pears turn brown when they are cut open then left in the air? You should have figured it out by now. I don't like to talk about me that much, but let's just say that I'm the best molecule ever. I'm an important building block used to make pharmaceuticals such as epinephrine. Also, you wouldn't be so fond of Fruit Loops if it wasn't for me. I make up all the flavors in that cereal. Also, I make venolin in the most environmentally friendly way. So I love the environment. Yay me! For instance, the production is performed using conventional closed vessels. The process is widely acknowledged as the best available technology in terms of reduced water and energy consumption. If you haven't realized yet, I'm an all-in-one molecule. Yay me!